I said my best part was actually the wine tasting at that event. Well done, Alexandra. Finally, on Metrofile today, we're still celebrating the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, as she begins her final journey home with people from around the world witnessing the occasion in the United States of America. From the United States to Nigeria and the world over, Fans bid farewell to the Queen of Soul, Aretha Louise Franklin. In Detroit, Michigan, a home state, a tribute concert was held a day before the star-studded funeral. It kicked off the proceedings. The local trooped in their numbers to the outdoor show, dubbed a people's tribute to the Queen. Aretha Franklin was born in Memphis, Tennessee, but grew up in Detroit, where she contributed in no small measure to her community. In her life she brought something and in her death she brought something. She brought us together and people stopped listening to the nonsense and just started doing the things we like to do which was good music. Uh, she gives me feeling, she gives me soul, she lifts me up when I'm down. That's what she means to me. The next day, Greater Grace Temple Church was swelled with gospel music for the funeral of the multiple Grammy Award winner, driving mourners to their feet to clap and sing along. They joined her immediate family to pray for the repose of her soul. The funeral, truly befitting a queen that she is, parades great singers like Gladys Knight, Fantasia, Barino Taylor, Shaka Khan, and Jennifer Hudson all paid musical tribute to the Queen of Soul. the first black president of the United States. Please receive the Honorable William Jefferson, Bill Clinton. Give God praise for Lady Hillary Clinton here as well. Leading those who eulogized the great singer is former president Bill Clinton, who was at the funeral with his wife, Hillary. He paid glowing tribute to a woman who headlined his 1993 inauguration. And all these people who loved her and were awestruck and said, can you believe she showed up? And she sang not one song, not two songs, not three songs. She had to bring a chair out, and she sang for 45 straight minutes.
His speech opened the way for other speakers, like American civil rights activist Reverend Jesse Jackson, Hollywood actor, playwright and filmmaker Tyler Perry, as well as veteran actress Cecily Tyson. She spoke to us through her soul and everything she experienced. And that's why, no matter what she was singing, she moved every single person. And what I'm glad about is that I had an opportunity to know this woman, to know that she had this power to stand in between all these different genres and touch us in all these different ways. I've traveled to China, I've traveled to Japan, I've traveled to the Caribbean, all around the world. I've seen, I met, worked with Dr. King, worked with Mandela. I've seen a lot and been a lot of places, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed big for bread. So sleep on, Aretha. See you in the morning. The legendary Stevie Wonder took to the stage to close out the ceremony with a performance of his song as After the service, her body was taken to where she was finally laid to rest at Woodlawn Cemetery. Aretha joins a long list of influential people buried at the historic cemetery, such as Rosa Parks, her sister Irma and Carolyn Franklin, and her father, Rev C.L. Franklin. Aretha Franklin died at the age of 76 from pancreatic cancer. Wow, a true queen who deserves all the honour. She remains in our hearts forever. That's Metro File for today. Expect more exciting features in just a few days. And don't forget that Friday's edition of Metro File airs again every Saturday at 12 noon, while a fresh edition will air on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. and that one gets repeated on Wednesday at 11 p.m. So you don't have any reason to miss any edition. Also remember to watch previous editions of Metrofile on youtube.com forward slash channels web. Reach us via Twitter handles and the phone number showing on your screen. If you want to find out details about the program, we sure will be here to answer all your questions. Thank you very much for watching Metrofile today and I'll definitely see you again very soon. I'm Anne Wawadu. Take care.